The best muscle gaining or muscle hypertrophy results happen when we combine compound and isolation moves into our workouts. But when we don't have a lot of equipment, it can be hard to effectively target specific muscles like our quads with isolation moves. Often when we think about exercises to isolate our quads, we think about a leg extension machine or some sort of cable extension, or maybe even a band extension. That's why I wanted to share one of my favorite bodyweight moves to really isolate and target those quads. This move is deceptively hard when done right. What is this amazing bodyweight quad move? It's the lean back. And if you have knee pain currently limiting your knee flexion or your ability to kneel, I will go over modifications to still get in that bonus quad work. But do not demonize this move because of the kneeling or knee flexion. While not every move is right for every person, lean backs, also called reverse Nordic curls, have even at times been used to rehab specific quad or knee injuries. Our knees are meant to flex and extend, and controlling this movement is key to actually keeping our knees healthy and happy. Plus, this move may be a great way to specifically target the rectus femoris quad muscle because the hip stays in an extended state during knee flexion. So how do you do the lean back? Well, it is a deceptively challenging move and looks a lot simpler than it actually is. I mention this because in an attempt to extend our range of motion, often we cheat without realizing it. To do the lean back, start kneeling with your knees about hip width apart. While you can point your toes, I highly recommend starting with your feet dorsiflex to provide that solid foundation and help with activation. This gives the added bonus of working on foot and ankle mobility as well. However, if you find it painful, you may keep your feet plantar flex or point your toes. If you do find you struggle with calf cramps while keeping your toes pointed, just remember you have the other option too. Come to that fully kneeling position up nice and tall and squeeze your glutes as you brace your abs. You can reach your hands out in front of you to help with balance to start. Keeping your glutes engaged, lean back. The movement is coming only at your knees. While attempting to sit your butt back towards your heels, make sure to keep your glutes engaged and hips extended. Bracing your abs is also key as it's tempting to just lean back from your lower back. You're working your quads to control that lean back and decelerate the knee flexion. You're basically using your quads to slow down the eccentric portion of the movement. Allow yourself to lean back as far as possible with the movement coming at your knees. Then pull yourself back up to kneeling, feeling your quads work to fully pull you back up. Repeat the movement, slowing down that lean back to make sure you're controlling it. To advance the move, work through the biggest range of motion you can control and even slow down the tempo further, including a pause when you've leaned back. If you do have loads, you can always add them to this move to advance it, holding a weight in at your chest, or even using a band anchored behind you so that you have to actually work harder to press forward and even fight the band pulling you back as you lean back. If you can't do the full lean back, what are some great variations and modifications? Well, we need to stop demonizing moves with kneeling or knee flexion and stop stating they're dangerous for our knees. They may not be right for people with specific knee injuries, especially to start. You may seek to build up to the lean back eventually, or you may find it never is included in your routine because it doesn't match your needs and goals and fitness level. If you can kneel but don't yet have full control of the lean back, you can modify the lean back by using a band anchored in front of you to assist, or even by holding on to something to control the range of motion. But if you're looking to improve your quad strength and find that kneeling or active knee flexion is tough right now, consider including isometrics in your workout routine. These moves are a great way to really improve your mind-body connection and start to build that strength endurance. Do not just hold with these moves, but actually really focus on feeling those quad muscles work or even trying to engage them harder during the hold. Moves like the basic wall sit or even bulldog hold are a great way to improve your quad strength endurance while eliminating active knee flexion. They're a great way to make sure you can really engage muscles correctly while even allowing you to strengthen muscles to improve joint stability. If you're looking to include some active knee flexion to start, you may even consider seated quad flexes. You can start with just body weight and focus on holding harder or even begin to add ankle weights, bands, or cables as you feel ready. Just remember that sometimes we need to regress to progress. And instead of demonizing moves, simply find ones that match us where we're at. No matter what tools we have available, there's often a way to find a movement to match our needs and goals. So if you're looking for an amazing quad move, give these lean backs a try. They're great to include after a compound move like lunges or squats to isolate those quads and really make them work. If you liked the video, make sure to like it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe, we're posting new videos each week.